To even out the test to be as close as possible, I set up the 2017 15-inch Mac with a clone of my 2016 13-incher. Migration Assistant only works via Wi-Fi and not the super fast USB, so I left it running overnight. However, most interestingly, I learned that the 15-inch MacBook Pro can actually charge a 13-inch MacBook Pro. For the test configuration, I wanted to simulate real-world usage. I had three browsers open and Google Drive syncing in the background. The 2016 Mac was hitting SSD read speeds of up to 2,600 megabytes a second, while the 2017 Mac, granted with a larger 2 terabyte hard drive, would only reach 2,200. Launching Final Cut took around the same time on both. Editing 4K locally stored proxy videos ran fast on both laptops. As I have a lot of footage, I tend to store my media on a network access server, and editing those are a complete pain. I wondered if the multiple cores would help out there. However, it didn't. Editing a locally stored 4K project was much more doable on the 15-inch 2017. However, the jitters were still apparent making proxy files a necessity. Transcoding on a 2017 15-inch was one second faster, which equates to around 10%. Exporting a 40-second 4K project was six seconds faster on a 2017 15-inch. Both machines felt just as sluggish launching new tabs. However, I felt that the 2017 handled them slightly faster. Compiling code was twice as fast on a 15 inch, thanks to its quad core. However, the iOS simulator was still unusable for OpenGL on both machines. Rounding it up on Mac, the most interesting thing that I noticed on Activity Monitor was that on the 13 inch, the CPU was idling between 5 to 15 percent, with Google Drive taking up to 60 percent of the processing power. Whereas on the 15 inch, it was idling at 65 percent, with Google Drive only reaching 8 percent. I went ahead and set up both machines with Windows via Bootcamp, and while I didn't time it, I didn't notice any difference in performance during installation. Where I did notice the difference, and it was a big difference, was in gaming. I could never get the frame rate up in Assassin's Creed Unity on my 2016 13-inch MacBook. However, out of the box, it ran flawlessly on my 2017 15-inch, thanks to its dedicated GPU. I have Apple's eGPU box on order, and as soon as it comes, I'll let you know how it shifts the balance in this department.